And what a bright day it is on this Thursday. More than 200 St. Pete businesses will be on display at the local Topia. That's what they call it. The annual event celebrates everything and anything St. Pete, and it's 100% free of charge to attend. How cool is that? Brightside reporter Sean Stryker out there live this morning. Uh, Sean, this is an awesome event, and every year they welcome in new vendors. They do, and this year there's going to be a poetry aspect to Local Topia. I'm not going to be writing the poetry. Gio is, his goal is to write one million poems, and he's going to be at Local Topia trying to obtain that goal, trying to chip away at that number. So I gave him a topic. I said, write a poem on St. Pete. This is how it works. So he's been hard at work at that. You're almost finished. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go. We're going to talk about uh, Local Topia, and then we're going to come back and hopefully have a finished poem. Sounds good. All right, keep keep working. Okay. We're going to show you the kind of the range that Local Topia offers. So we have the po poetry. There's music, there's food, and then Park and Rec is bringing their life-size games to Local Topia this year, like life-size Jenga, which is uh, everything when it's bigger is just a little bit better and more fun. It's more adult size, right? <laughs> and then, so you, we're going to have a lot of fun. This is Olga. You're the organizer of Local Topia. Tell everyone that maybe they're not familiar with this event what it's all about. Uh, local Topia is the largest community celebration of all things local. We have over 200 vendors, so they represent uh, the St. Pete's favorite businesses and community organizations. It's a showcase of the best of St. Pete. It we is. want everybody to come out and celebrate what makes our city amazing. And there's a lot that makes St. Pete amazing, and a, a lot of food, there's music. Uh, games. games. I, I, yeah. I know, Stephen, you're going to be serving up food there yeah, as we're well. Doing, we're doing food from the Avenue, from Park and Rec, and from No Vacancy. And obviously, we're bringing all the uh, adult size games. We've got Jenga, Connect Four, Cornhole, and our uh, life size giant beer pong. Which we were playing earlier, yeah. and that was a, a, an absolute blast. Yeah. It, it is For you boys, I missed. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Not no one knows fun. you missed. So, Local Topia. You make it up Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, yes, you got 10. this. 10 a.m. It kicks off at uh, Williams Landing, right up the street yeah. at the park. We got the poem. Is it done? It's ready. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to read just the first, the first line. This is a, a peninsula on a peninsula tree. I love it. From there, <laughs> uh, that, you, you're hooked. Look at it. it. A complete poem he wrote as we were sitting there waiting. Um, and so he's, his goal is to write a million, and you're almost at 500. So you yeah. were saying it's really just to keep you writing. Yeah, it's just to keep me going, keep me moving forward, you know, not to think about the other things that I've written. It's a great lesson, and you can check him out at Localtopia on Saturday. Sean, did you write a poem? Did you write one? No, I didn't write a poem. I was thinking of one in my head. I wanted to write one about you. Anchorman, anchorman Sean, on that anchor desk. Here's one I wrote about you, all right? Here's one I wrote about Sean Stryker. Roses are red, Leave violets are blue. Someone on bright side's getting married, and Sean, it's you. That, Rob. Can I, can I have that? Can someone read that at my wedding? Yeah, I'll, I can, I can, I'll remember it. it. I, I can remember it. I'll remember it as soon as you get back. All right, good stuff, Sean. Thank you.